Okay, hi again people. I'm back again now with uh, video number four, which is regarding adding the bio filter, four stage bio filter I've used. So up to now you've got your tank, you've sorted your water out, um, you've conditioned the water in the tank, you've added your salt, you've added the cooler, you've got the cooler running, you've got a decent water temperature. Next, you need to worry about pollution which obviously we use the, uh, the biofilter for that. I've gone for an external external four stage biofilter. Each stage is a different type of filter and each type of filter will combat a different type of disease that you'll get in your tank. So this is the box here, this is the best way to explain it. Four stage external canister bio filter I will mention make sure you buy a new one don't get a second hand one you don't know what it's been used for um, and obviously over time you have to replace bits anyway so you buy something you end up replacing all the parts for it and uh, you, you'd have been better off buying new this was off eBay cost about 55 quid 60 quid including delivery cheap enough really so I can uh, try and get a focus on this I don't know if it's going to focus. Well, it's not going to focus, so I'll just basically read it out for you. This filter is a four stage bio filter. So, stage one is the bio balls, stage two is activated carbon, stage three is filter mat, and stage four is ceramic rings. Each one of those is there for a reason for tackling a different form of pollution in the tank. Uh, you can get smaller and, and, and bigger filters but four stage with the right right bits tackles the problems that we're gonna you know problems we're gonna come up against. So that's pretty much it. It works like a normal filter. You've got water being drawn out of the tank into the filter, through the filter, back out of the filter. To a spray bar. Spray bar is kind of important. If you get a filter that hasn't got a spray bar, they're not hard to, to add on. Give me a shout if you want to know the information on that. But most filters now will come with the spray bar option. Just just get one with the spray bar. The spray bar is obviously creating oxygen as well, which is good. So so yeah, that's pretty it. It's pretty basic really. Most people understand what a filter is and what, what it's there to do. you just got to make sure that you're getting a filter to combat what we need to combat, which is obviously things like ammonia and uh, diseases that, that, that come off lobsters that are obviously harmful, harmful to, to other lobsters, but not to humans. Um, another thing to mention in this video as well is any injured, dying or dead lobsters in your tank. I know it's a hard thing to do. Get them out and, and, and get rid of them they're just going to kill all the other lobsters in there over a period of time so injured and uh, dead lobsters give off bad toxins which will just wipe out your tank and kill everything so it's it's best to just get rid of a couple of lobsters or one lobsters one lobster and lose a few quid other than uh, have 15, 20, 50 whatever lobsters in your tank and end up with a lot of them dead so that's it so there we are with video number 4 complete and that is the filter We'll see you again, video number five, with the extras video.